All right. The uh, the reason that uh, that I'm on the top of everyone is uh, I'm, I'm actually I'm glad uh, you guys took a while to get here because uh, we were bringing Jerry and, and Al up to speed on, on what's going on and uh, where our perspective is the campaign. What I really want to talk about uh, today was the nuts and bolts of how uh, the campaign was running. Um, you know, uh, Chuck and I were out yesterday at the, the MLK march and. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, we've been doing a lot of, we've been getting out a lot, a lot the last couple of weeks. Uh, I'll go backwards. Uh, this morning we were at uh, the um, Businessmen United uh, for Political Action Committee. I believe that's what UPAC stands for. Yeah, I, so. yeah uh, I could be wrong on that, but the, it's UPAC. Uh, they had a, a breakfast and they had a, 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 a guest speaker, Jack Tynan who's a, a, like a 30-year vet of Westinghouse and who does uh, columns for the Naples Daily News. And, well, he says he doesn't like to consider himself a Middle East expert, but he's got a lot of experience and he was there talking about that. And uh, we had a really good discussion with him and uh, we put some video up on that. Uh, and also, uh, yesterday, we went to the NLK March, uh, which is from Dunbar uh, over to Centennial Park. Uh, met a, a few interesting people there. Uh, one of the things that I'm very happy about uh, is Jack Tanner, uh, who is the head of the Ron Paul uh, Committee here, and also the, uh, the uh, I believe his title is president of the uh, Lee County Libertarian Party, uh, has really been real supportive. He's the one who uh, brought us to the guest uh, this morning at UPAC. We talked to him yesterday. Uh, we went out, and he was doing the Ron Paul demo uh, about a week ago. We talked to him there. Uh, what another going? Oh, the uh, Progressive Alliance. Uh, we were at FGC Sunday. Uh, we talked to, uh, it was the first monthly meeting of the Student Progressive Alliance. Uh, they had uh, people from Code Pink, from EPAC, uh, CIW was there, uh, a lot of good organizations, and they're going to start doing that every month. Uh, so it's a, a good place to, to go out and talk to people. Uh, what else have you done? Um, what did we do last week? Just to sit on my computer. <laughs> uh, let's see. You talked to um, uh, right, but, um, you, you, you did go out in the elbow, I mean, it wasn't well attended, uh, the uh, Ron Paul group, which was, uh, Yep. First lesson done. Surprising. Um, that should make the race a little more interesting for, uh, I'm sure Rudy will pick up some of them. Not the hardcore law and order fans, but out there, but out there, man. Yep. Nice, by the way. Nice, very nice. Uh, glad to see it's up. I just had to pull a little trick to get it to do the redirect. I don't know why. It's something to do with Oxford's hosting. It wouldn't okay. deal well with actually bringing it up. Well, this is one topic I have to bring up. The new website's up. Okay. okay. So, uh, yeah, well, that's new. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's that's really, that's fantastic. Because that gets to, uh, oh, also, we went. That YouTube video is, uh, we went and we talked to a veteran support group uh, over here in uh, East Fort Myers. Uh, also, we went to uh, NARC, which is a National Active and Retired Federal Employees Association, Cape Coyle. So we've been getting out and we've been talking to a lot of people. And the more people that we've been talking to, uh, I, I've been convinced uh, that we're ready to move on to the next phase of, of, of this campaign, which is to move from the crazy for Congress phase of a guy with a camera talking to a bunch of people to actually becoming a real discipline campaign. Um, and in order for this to happen, uh, we need to do a couple of things. Uh, the first thing that we have to do is we have to get uh, more people involved um, uh, on an operational level. And what's been happening lately, uh, it's over the last few months, is it's, it's a confidence building process because I'm not a party candidate, uh, because I'm an unknown quantity to most people. It's a lot of me going out and talking to people before they're willing to commit to anything. So we know this is going to be a slow build. Um, but I, I think uh, the build is good. So far, we've raised about $4,000. Uh, I have not been fundraising out at all this month. Uh, I got uh, so uh, if I can make the rent payment uh, next month, I'll be happy. Uh, but uh, I have a couple of prospects uh, in the couple, uh, next coming weeks. But uh, fundraising is, is a little bit of a side issue for the next month or two because I want to make sure what we need right now is we need people power. 
you know, and, and this is, uh, you know, talking about being in this neighborhood and going out, and this is, if we can get people who have a little time, I know most people work, you know, full time, I mean, everybody here, I think, except for me, <laughs> is, is working a full time job, uh, aside from uh, working on this campaign, so I, I know that this is difficult, and I really appreciate all of you turning out for this. Uh, and helping me out with all of this stuff. But uh, what we need to do is we need to get more people involved. And one of those people, I'm going to try my darndest to find an experienced campaign manager. Uh, we are going to get a copy of the news press tomorrow, right? Yeah, right, exactly. And uh, we will get a copy of the news press tomorrow, and uh, we're going to put an ad in Naples Daily in the news press uh, looking for a campaign manager. I have a couple people that I want to talk to uh, in the next week or so. Uh, that uh, might be able to help me out in that department. Uh, we made a couple of good contacts uh, today. I think some people that uh, also might be able to help us out in that area. Uh, you know, one of the important things about this campaign is we want to go out there and we want to be able to get uh, a new coalition of people together. I'm tired of the old right-left paradigm. I don't think that that applies to most people when you break down issue by issue. So we have to figure out a way to get around that. And, uh, you know, we were talking to business people today. Uh, yesterday we were out in the, the black community. Uh, the day before that we were talking to progressives, uh, you know, at the university. Um, we, and I got a tip off today from a libertarian, you know, so uh, this is exactly what I was hoping for. We're going back and forth between people who are traditionally considered right wing, people who are traditionally considered left wing. What we have to do is we have to find a common language to, to bring that all together, which brings us to the practical stuff. What I want to do in this next month is I want to start the official Jeff George for Congress campaign, which means we need a few things off of that. Number one, we need campaign literature. Uh, a simple, even if, if it's something as simple as this, you know, we got this yesterday, this is an official Obama South you know, this is something a local community got. Even if it's something as, as, as simple as you know, uh, a brochure like this, that's fine to start off with. Uh, the other thing is, we need, you know, some standardized letters and things like that. And uh, Chuck and I will work on that. Um, but, I mean, I want, I, I, anybody who wants to put input into that process, please let me know, because, you know, right now, uh, I, I'm, I'm spread really thin, because I spend uh, about a third of my time talking to people and being a candidate, a third of my time um, you know, editing and, and video and working on the video and then a third of my time uh, doing campaign you know, preparation and stuff like that. So um, I, am, I am happy to delegate anything that's possibly, uh, that can possibly be delegated. Uh, but what we need, just off the top of my head, I'm thinking we need, we need uh, flyers, pamphlets, uh, we need standardized letters, we need new letters. Uh, which we just kind of, we talk, we plan for this, we can transition from the Crazy for Congress logo. Mm -hmm. What I want to do with the Crazy for Congress is that's going to remain our committee name, um, and also uh, it'll remain on the master website. Um, I have, I bought Jeff George for Congress and everything a long time ago, so we have all those. Actually, they link to Crazy for Congress now. Um, but I want to, I want to put that in the background a little bit, because when we started off, I wasn't sure if, uh, uh, to be honest, I wasn't sure if I personally could do this or not. Uh, but now I'm, I'm a little more confident that we can go out there and we can do something really incredible. So now I want to shift to uh, a real campaign. So we need logo. Uh, and for that logo, uh, we will look at doing bumper stickers. We we'll put that on flyers. And also I'd like to do t-shirts. So, um, so we need that. We need campaign literature. And uh, again, more than anything, we need, a, we need a campaign manager because I need, I need somebody with experience in those. Like yesterday, we were at the ALK March and the Democrats had a big booth uh, at, uh, uh, at the fair. And you said the 18th? The 18th is the uh, Edison College Career Day. Okay. The uh, voter registration guys are going to be out there. Can we get a booth there? Yes, I, well, I have the, uh, I talked to the student council president today, or the uh, student government president today, mm -hmm. and I'm going to email her with all your information, which is going to uh, apply officially, but yes, you can, you're invited unofficially at this point. So. Excellent. Okay, great. Um, so what we need to do is, does anybody have any experience doing booths and that sort of thing? Does anybody? I, I've, I've done booths, um, uh, just, you know, for, uh, uh, for various, uh, you know, 
I've just sat at them and ran them for, oh. for, for newspapers in the past. So, yeah. so they, I mean, what do we need? We need like, a, like maybe a banner. And yeah, uh, you need a banner. Uh, I mean, uh, I just, I mean, just fill it up with as much, uh, you know, as much. I mean, the buttons, uh, you know, okay. t-shirts, bumper stickers. Just have, make sure that that's all laid out and accessible on the table, and and some of that stuff on the wall behind you. I and mean, you almost have to make it like a right. retail store right. kind right. of right. environment where it's attractive to the eye. It could be real cheesy. Sit down for a couple of hours in front of a video and record your ideas and let them watch. Having <laughs> 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 broadcast the entire time. Well, yeah. and, and have a laptop. Yeah. No, it's, yeah. it's like have the laptop running in the booth, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, you know that that that, that again is a visual cue. Yeah. So much of these booths are, are visual right. cues. Uh, that, that 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 you know this is this is part of the campaign, the media project. Well, you know, I just, actually I, I just had a really good idea to think about this. You know what we can do is you know make part of the booth. We have a camera set up. You know, come in. We're we're broadcasting. Tell us what you think. Of, there you uh, go. Yeah. And, and if you have the laptop out. set up, like you said, mm -hmm. there's a Wi-Fi connection, or at least at Edison, there's a Wi-Fi right there, so yeah. high speed. So. Yeah. So. Um, I think that's, yeah, that's really good. yeah, you could actually clean that and, and have that, you know, have a banner that says, you know, uh, uh, what, what would you say to Washington or, you know, whatever the question might be. Which which brings me to uh, my next uh, line of things that we have to start doing, writing things down. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, uh, 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 recording. <laughs> wasn't there an idea at some point that that, that we were going to get like a uh, uh, like a calendar or something like that? We, we have uh, the Google uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, the Google, the Google, the Google calendar. office that is up there. We just yeah. all right. Yeah. Okay, here's something. Um, who wants to volunteer? And I, I will help out with this. I have a stack of like phone numbers. And names and stuff. Uh, who wants to, to volunteer? To <laughs> let's, <laughs> to let's let's sit down and, and go through those and, and get those all up and uh, get the, the calendar up and, and functioning. Uh, make sure that we all have accounts. Uh, uh, everybody who's interested in, in getting access there. And you know, one of the things that we're doing here is this is a, an open campaign. Uh, and that's something that's never been done before. I've never done this. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that 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 makes uh, what six of us. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, this is new to all of us. And you know, I think that's one of the things that we're looking at doing this in the open style is we want to be we want to have a solid we want to have solid documentation and solid records so that uh, elected or not elected, we can go back and we can look at it and say, look, this is a process and show everyone how it works and hopefully we can get more people involved that way. The other thing is. Um, you know, uh, this comes back to our, our watchword for this campaign is TIA. Transparency, integrity, and accountability. And we want to make sure that even, uh, I, I guarantee you I can go through the archives there and, uh, <laughs> I can go through the archives there uh, on Justin TV, which is where our live feed is going through. I can go through my videotapes and I can see uh, probably a couple hundred dumb things that I've said, done, or, or all of the above, but but that's okay. We may get hammered with that later, or I may get hammered with that later, but uh, I want that out there because one of the things I think is important is we have to have a human element back to the campaign. We have to stop expecting everybody that runs for public office to be perfect, you know, to be these ideal human beings. We have to let people know that, you know, everybody, uh, including the people in the office, are fallible. So, uh, campaign materials, writing stuff down, uh, getting our database together, getting more volunteers. Uh, what else? What am I leaving out here? Uh, the uh, signature issue. Uh, ah, yes, thank you. The most important issue. I almost forgot the main reason I wanted to have this meeting today. <laughs> Hence, we go back to the writing things down. Yes. <laughs> Uh, this is a, a, a real important decision point uh, that we, we're, we're at right now, and I want to get everybody's feedback on this. Um, we need uh, 4,900 and something signatures uh, to qualify for the ballot, uh, and I have to, we have to collect those by May 2nd. Uh, and not only are those signatures, but those are actual signature cards, uh, and they have to be from a registered voter in this district. Uh, that is, uh, if you break it down and we had every volunteer commit to getting 200 signature cards, we would need 30 volunteers. Um, so, uh, and we have three months, not even, 
I had a little more than three months to do it. Have we started this yet? Uh, we haven't started this yet. Now, this is this is the decision that I wanted to make. Uh, the other option is actually we need 4,900, but you need to go about 20% over that uh, to make sure uh, that all of them get counted. So really, we need 6,000 signatures. Uh, the other option is to pay $6,000, uh, which is a registration fee, which goes in lieu of the signatures, which is what most candidates do. And uh, we can qualify that way. I'm not really concerned about raising six thousand dollars in uh, uh, three months. I don't. I don't that, that's a non-issue. I think that won't be a problem at all. But the issue for me is initially, you know, I've been saying from the beginning that I wanted to do the signatures. But now looking at it and looking at the time constraints that we have, uh, because there's a window, you have to do it between January and May. Um, I think we would be better served if we focused our attention elsewhere. Uh, and just spent the money. And I hate to do that because it seems like we're buying our way into the election. Uh, but at this point, with our, our still relatively limited resources, I'm thinking that's the best option. I have an idea. Um, and uh, I, 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 I think, you know, I, I, I'd, like to, I, I'd like to see us um, give, uh, uh, give, give the signatures at least, at, at least to go up. And, and, and I think that the, um, uh, the, the let, let, let's set a benchmark. Okay. It, uh, uh, if there, there's six of us here, if, if, if each of us can bring in five people, that's 30 people, if you just mentioned as, as, mm -hmm. as the number you were looking at. Two weeks. If we can get a, uh, if we can have another meeting uh, right back here in, in two weeks and, and, and get 30 people here, um, uh, then uh, uh, then then we can try for the signatures. I mean, if, if you know, and, and and if not, I mean, then you know, we, at least we try and we know that that, that we did, you know, uh, that, that, you know, that, that, we, that we did it the right way. That, that, that we tried and, and uh, you know. Um, I mean, it's, it, it, it's two weeks. It, it, it's not a long time, and I think it'll be important to do that not only for this issue, but also for getting more people involved with this campaign, which I think is is, is something we need to do. We, we, we need to we need to have more more ideas, more brains, uh, more more people power. Okay. And that was my thinking initially. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm willing to do that. I think that, I think I think that's a good idea. Um, Keep in mind, uh, there's another aspect to this. You know, most of the time when you go out and people ask you to sign political petitions, uh, they are generally paid employees. I think there's, I know there's one. I think there's two companies in the state that do that. Uh, and these guys, they have permission worked out with all the uh, the business owners and all the uh, uh, property managers in advance of you know where they can go, what parking lots they can go. This is the other thing that we'll have to work out because I think most people, even if we get 30 people in here, most people don't know the 200 registered voters that uh, they could ask that would be willing to sign it. So it's going to be legwork for everybody. And certainly, I mean, I'm more than willing to go out and ask people for signatures myself. Uh, I have no problem with that. But this is this is the other side of this. We're going to have to make sure uh, that we figure out where we can go and where we can go. Yeah, and that's, and that's part of, you know, uh, well, and, you know that, that, I mean, that's, you know, I mean, uh, that's why we're bringing them on. I think it's, it's, it's because, I mean, you know, if it were if it were easy for for everyone to get 200 signatures, I don't think it would be right. You know, it would, yeah. I don't think it would be a big deal. Yeah. So you know, I I, I think that um, yeah, and and uh, yeah, I, I I've dealt with with, with 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 property managers in the past giving permission just to, you know, I, 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 as a journalist. Uh, okay. So uh, you know, and it'll probably be easier to to, to do it uh, as as a, you know in the voter registration uh, in the registration sense. Well, the issue is that it, 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 hypothetically, if you would reach out and touch 6,000 people, that's 6,000 people you didn't know before. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. So, yes, that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that we should do that. Okay. And now, the reason I say it, and I, that doesn't mean I'm excluding the idea of doing the payout $6,000, no. but set like a timetable and okay. get benchmarks. If, you, if you're making your goal, if you set dates already, you have to have on or around this many by this date, on or around. If you look like you're projecting to make it, why pay the 6000 Especially when you're getting out. These people aren't just signing a piece of right. paper. They're actually reading. Who is it? Exactly. Yeah. I guess. Whatever. It, but they right. know the name, and when they right. see it again, right. that's, mm -hmm. two, that's two times they saw it. Okay. Uh, whereas if they go up there and they ah, I don't like time. Who's this guy? Yeah. Okay, I've heard his name before. I haven't heard yeah. Jeff George, but he's on there. Who cares? Right. right. Uh, what do you think? I think we... Uh, because it's pretty hard to get 6,000 signatures. Um, 
So we would need that as a backup, that ability to... Okay. Well, I'll make sure that we have that. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll make sure that we have and that. And otherwise, I mean, we're going to need that $6,000 up the road anyway, so mm -hmm. that money should be reserved because between May and November, we're going to need that much money anyway, so it should at least be in the bank. Um, but also, like Chuck and Mahomes both said, um, the more people that we actually get involved with this, I mean, once they sign their name, they're already thinking about it. Yeah. They've already kind of committed to it, and that's a very likely vote, so. And, and that's a way to engage people. In the right, and, right. You know, I, I, I think, uh, you know, uh, uh, this, I mean, I, I've talked to a lot of people who are interested, but, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I, I don't necessarily you know, I have to have a way for to tell them, well, you know, you, you go, you know, you come here to this to this meeting, you do that, do this, or you know, contribute in this way, you know, and and I I, I think we can, yeah, I, I I think that'd be good. Thing. Now, you know, do we get the numbers that we're looking for? I mean, that's the question mark. Mm -hmm. now, so that's why I set that benchmark. Okay, so yeah. my question is this though. And you see this in elections every year, they turn away registered voters. They turn away people when they give these checks and oh wait, you're not who you said you were. Mm -hmm. What happens? We apply, we got these signatures, and we get four thousand, we'll say five thousand exactly, and we say we got it, and then it turns around we pass the deadline on paying. That is something I have to look at because basically, you know, it's not like you can turn it in whenever. Right. There's Just a date you have exactly. to turn it in on March second. I'm not sure if if we don't if we come under the signatures if they give us the option to pay or not. Right. So and and that, if if that's the case and you can't do that, then that's a showstopper. Nobody's going right. to let you win. Right. Exactly. So. Um, so, so yeah, that that's another issue. Let me I'm going to take a look at the that, that's the that's right there. That might even be like that. Uh, those seem to be why most of the candidates actually pay their way in. I because think so. There's yeah. too much risk factor involved in that. Yeah. I mean, if there is a deadline on paying, then yeah, because even with a 20% overage, you know, uh, yeah. that, that 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 could still happen. 